Hello everyone, Jan again. Welcome to another video of our Developer Diary series. Today, let's see another aspect of Arma 2, which is the mission editing capability. Also, we'll add a few notes on battlefield tactics. The game isn't just a preset sequence of events in particular places. Everything that happens is fully dynamic. Our mission editor is extremely easy to use. On the right you can see the main toolbar, there you can select all types of entities you'd like to insert in a game world. Units, groups, triggers, waypoints, markers. Some of the entities can also be synchronized. You can change the editing mode by pressing the F keys, so default is F1, which is for inserting a single unit or object. You can select the site for the object, as some sites have various options, as well as class, which can be man, aired, armored, cars. There is a lot of options. So for now, I'll just insert a default op for intrigant rifleman. There he is. I press F2 to switch to the groups mode. Now I can insert an entire group. Again, it's split by side, faction, type, so I'll just insert Intrigan Militia Group. So, this is already enough for a basic scenario. However, you may want to give the unit some waypoints, so I press F4 and switch on the main toolbar to Waypoints mode and give the unit the waypoint. Basic waypoint is move, but there are many, many other kinds of waypoints useful for the AI. I will switch them to combat behavior. AI will react based on behavior, so in combat, for example, they will engage the enemies. In stealth, they will try to avoid being spotted. I will allow them to open fire and engage at will and I'll allow for some randomization in placement and completion radius. So, now I already have a general combat scenario. I can save it. And click preview to play the pre-made combat scenario straight away. Note that this scenario can be played in many, many different ways and despite only taking two minutes to create it, there is good gameplay volume. I know there are enemies somewhere behind the house, so I may try to engage them. It's going to be very hard because I'm alone against a large squad. I need to be extremely cautious. I'm continually using the ALT key to scan the surrounding environment, because the monitor provides only a very limited field of view. I'm trying to approach them from behind, from their back, because that way I may have a higher chance to win the encounter with them. Note that the AI can see and hear. So there is one AI hiding. I've got him. Now the rest of the AI probably heard me already. So it's a time to try to hide. The AI uses lots of advanced techniques and tactics. They use the radio to communicate with each other and they will now try to suppress me and eventually hunt me down.
Luckily, none of them spotted me yet, so I'm relatively safe. However, it's good to run away. Uh oh! I run to open field and they instantly kill me. Don't be fooled that the game at first looks like a normal first person shooter. You need to forget all the tactics you might learn in other shooters because most of them simply won't work in this game. It's very important to change the way we think about the combat. Rather think of it as all for real and try to play like in real world. That means you need to be very careful. You need to be prepared at all times for surprises. And then all the time you need to have an advantage over the enemies by thinking ahead and trying to outsmart them. I have spotted one enemy over again. It's always good to keep changing your location because if you are suppressed in one particular area for too long, it's more than likely that the enemy will not allow you to leave anymore. So if you know that your position has been compromised, it's time to move to a completely different place. As you noticed, the AI can be really tough enemy, hard to fight against. So it's essential to move in a group with other friendly units, otherwise their domination may be overwhelming. Keep low and hide wherever and whenever you can, because when they spot you, your chances are red low. So be a silent hunter and surprise them and don't let them surprise you. Also, even a few mouse clicks can quickly prepare interesting gameplay. The game can be fully scripted for advanced campaigns, cutscenes and more advanced mission behavior. However, even with just a mouse, you can prepare great missions for yourself and others. As you saw, it was really that simple. So have fun with Arma 2.